Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Tutorial Channel. Okay, in front of me, I have um something recently released from PGM, latest actually, um their Porsche three five six Martini Racing. Okay, very nice white color box actually, very clean. Um, so packaging wise, it's pretty standard, pretty straightforward. Uh, I think let's go straight to it. So this one comes with a protector, and uh, as usual, this this protector is a little bit more. Um, premium kind of design and you can always peel off this film um, that is actually to protect the protector from getting um, scratches okay so um, this time they did put that uh, white color uh, sheet of paper I guess is to protect the paint from the blister and uh, that becomes a reason you can't really see the car when it's in the packaging so you got to take it out okay there we go that's the that's the toothpick, okay, to open all the opening panels. It's a very nice uh, picture of the real car. Um, I've seen two videos of this car on YouTube, the real thing, and uh, I would make a guess that it's uh, located somewhere in Europe. Okay, not sure where because, um, yeah, I couldn't find the story of it. Uh, only videos uh, reviewing, not to say reviewing, just uh, 360 of, of the car. Okay, let's get it out. So there's actually two two different um, packaging, the luxury as usual, the luxury and the regular. So the one I have with me here is the regular in the plastic base. It has that uh, sponge cover underneath to make it uh, much more premium. Oh, okay, so it has that sticker. Um, yeah, I forgot about the sticker. Okay, let me just get it out in the open. It has running number. Ooh, nice, nice, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty good, looking good out of the box. So it has running number, uh, it doesn't have the Porsche name here, it just says, says uh, 356. Mine is uh, number 357 out of 999 pieces for the regular. Okay, so on the base, uh, pretty much a standard plastic base, however, it has that cotton finishing velvet not say velvet i think it's more soft uh fabric kind of finishing on the base all right and then uh should i remove it from the base i think yeah i think I, I will not be removing this one from the base it does look quite good actually on this white color on this white color uh base nice okay but i will definitely open this up i definitely open this up yeah i think it looks it looks quite good i it does look quite premium with the uh the stand because this would this would I would imagine this uh, car to actually appear in a museum <laughs> on display kind of thing so I think it's nice to leave it on the base this time okay uh, in the meantime right while I'm getting this out uh, help me to hit the like button okay because that help me out with the uh, YouTube algorithms cool all right so the best thing about PGM is all the opening parts so look at it check out that side check out that side mirror okay I'm just gonna zoom in here right so when I when I when I look through that uh, YouTube video, right, the only difference would be the rims. Um, in the YouTube video, it is number sixty two as well. Um, I've seen uh, the 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 Speedster version as well. I think that's number twelve. Um, then that there's some vintage photos of that Speedster version, which is the open top. Um, but this one, I only seen you know modern photos of it. So I I'm not sure if this was actually raised. Uh, you know last time in the olden days if you do know if you do have more information about this car please do let me know in the comment section below okay right so the only yeah the only difference i see is is actually the rims um the the dash and and, and the interior is actually pretty pretty uh, pretty looks them pretty good um in real life but uh, here we don't see much because i think most uh yeah basically the interior is all in black okay this this look like it's a little bit loose i'm trying to find a way to push this in ah, there we go Ooh, very a bit loose i would say but uh opens quite okay it has some sort of mechanism to hold it out okay oh oh that's nice interior oh you can see the three paddles very obvious there's details on the dash okay the steering wheel as well okay this is really very nice We've seen a couple of very nice interiors for on their uh, Lamborghinis already, right? This time, this one does look really, really good. 
very nice. That's in here. Let me get the other door out. Uh, okay, I do have a couple extras of these that are available through Collector's Cube. Okay, I'll put the link in the description below. Oh, there's some door handle details as well. Let me just focus on both sides, right? That's nice. Frameless. Um, now, the frameless part, I'm not sure if it's the same as the real car. Okay, that's the interior. Very nice martini printing. And uh, I believe this is the mobile Pegasus logo. Okay, check out the front. Headlamps are a separate uh, piece. Indicator lights, I believe it's a separate piece as well. Looks pretty good. 356A Coupe. Oh, look at that. Look at this handle here. Is that a handle? Oh, it's where... Oh, man, look at that. It reminds me of the olden days, the Volkswagen. Um, this is where the, actually the Volkswagen logo sits. It's a very similar design. <laughs> Let's see, I can't open this up. Oh, this one. Okay, the front is a little bit tighter than the door. Okay, I think I got it in there, but it's just not coming out. Hang on. Is there anything that I can hold on to? But I did notice this black dot here. Was that? Can I brush it off? Yes. Luckily. So it's a little bit tight. Let's see if I can put in a little bit more force. See if I can get it out. No. Ah. Uh, I do quite like that the gap is really very small. Um. So you know when when it's closed up, it does look really uh still very realistic. Okay, and then there's this black dot as well, okay. Why are there so many black dots appearing? Let's go to the back. I'll see if I can open up the back. Ah, look at that. Look at the tail lights, the single pipe in the middle. Very nice. Treaded wheels as well. Okay, you can see that. Okay, let's see if I can open this up. Now this, this is actually, this detail is very nice as well. So yep, this does appear on the real car. That detail is very nice as well. I guess it's to allow more air going. Let me see if I can push it. Because, yeah, the gaps are so small. No. I can't open it. I think I need something thinner than this to pick. Still a bit thick. And, uh. Right. So I'm pretty much stuck. I'll see if I can open it up. <laughs> ah, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, look at that. Ooh, spare rim in front. That is nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'll see if we can open up the back. We want, I want to see the air cool, The air cool engine. Uh, it's really very tight. And uh, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take me some time to get this up. Okay, so in the meantime, help me to hit the like button, okay? Because that helps me out with the YouTube algorithms. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. I have a couple of extras of these. Uh, they're available through Collectors Cube. I help them handle their social media as well. So do look them up, okay, on TikTok, Facebook, and on Instagram. They do ship international. You can purchase through coldcube.com. All right. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, am I going to give up? <sighs> Let me just give it one more try. I'll try, to f I'll try with my fingernail. I got, I got a little bit of fingernails this time around. I'll see if I can open up for you guys no no if I can't open this up then I don't want to use a blade because um, that usually I'm very very tempted to use the blade now but uh, that usually causes paint chip so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the blade I'll try to see if my fingernail can do it but no um, it's just yeah so good and bad right um, the gap is really very minimal, but without a gap, I'm not able to open it up. Or is there some sort of mechanism underneath that uh, we're able to take it out? <sighs> yeah, no choice. Okay, let's get it out. I I I kind of prefer to leave this on the base actually, honestly speaking, because it does look quite good um, sitting on the on that white platform. I think it will go quite well in 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 my display here in Cube. Oh, really? yep. so, is there a switch or anything underneath? Oh, that's quite a not bad amount of details underneath here. And well, not much, 
but I do quite like the exhaust details here. Very nice. So there's no switch underneath, unfortunately. So uh, I've got to figure out off camera how to get it out. Uh, so you can follow up. Uh, I'll try to get it out and, and, and get more photos uh, or even a short TikTok video out if I can. All right. So uh, unfortunately, that's it. Oh, can you roll? No. I thought it can roll. It looked like it can roll. No. No, not. It doesn't roll at all. Can it turn? Yep, can turn. Can turn it, but uh, no, it doesn't roll. I think the rubber is stuck to the body. Cool. Very nice casting, actually. Okay, so uh, that's it for this time around. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.